What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to Beginner's Guide to Dark Souls. So, a little bit of a shorter episode today. Uh, we're going to pick up right where we left off. Uh, the only thing I really changed is I was looking at the gloves, and uh, I decided to use the Wanderer Manchette over the Black Leather Gloves. As you can see, the uh, starting stats are much better, but uh, it only weighs, you know, 0.3 more. So, uh, I'm going to use that instead. I like the look of it, too. So, uh, head on over here, and you're going to find a pair of stairs. And you're going to want to head down these stairs. So, ignoring the uh, the cutscene that happened earlier, as you can see, we're uh, heading down here. Uh, you can just see what this sign says. Usually a helpful sign is in right here. Hidden path ahead, very true. So, uh, what you want to do is tack this wall. And it is an illusory wall. And uh, you're going to want to talk to this fellow here. Don't attack him. Many people do. Uh, you're going to want to get, actually get up close to him oh and talk dear. to him. What have we here? Are you a new servant? Uh, even if you're not, just answer yes to him. Mm. It's, you have no eggs. Ha! No matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. All right, so, oh crap, this is my phone. All right, so uh, this is uh, the uh, Daughter of Chaos Covenant, and uh, if you uh, say no to this character, he will not let you pass. And uh, if you go over here, you will see this character who is, uh, as you can see, looks exactly like Quaylog. This is Quaylog's sister. Um, if you talk to her here, you can see it just says question mark because uh, we can't speak her language. And uh, she's actually a firekeeper, so uh, we could reinforce uh, our Estus Flask if we had one, but uh, we do not have one. Uh, we could enter her covenant, uh, which uh, I think we actually might do. So uh, this covenant, the Chaos Servant covenant, when you join it, you will get the uh, Great Chaos Fireball Pyromancy, which is an extremely useful pyromancy that uh, takes up two attunement slots, however. Very, very powerful. Uh, you don't have to be in the Covenant to keep it, so you can get it and leave the Covenant. Pretty fun thing to do, I guess. And, uh, yep, so we're just going to stick in this Covenant for now. Uh, this Covenant can also open up a shortcut in a later area, but uh, we're probably not going to do that. So, uh, if you remember when I started the game, I started the game with the old Witch's Ring. Uh, if you put on the old witch's ring and talk to this NPC, you're gonna hear some different things. Quaylog, my dear sister. Quaylog, what is it? So as you can see, uh, if you wear the old witch's ring, she mistakes you for her sister Quaylog because she is actually blind and dying. So uh, let's see what she has to say now that we have uh, the ring on. Sad. Let's uh, see if she has anything else to say. Well, I just speared your dear sister to death. She's just saying the same thing. Um, she is a fire keeper. Um, this isn't something you have to do. This is something I'm gonna do, and I encourage you to do. But you really don't have to do it. If you want to stay in this covenant, don't do this. If you like this bonfire, uh, which I'm just gonna rest at now, uh, don't do this. But why can't I rest at this bonfire? There we go. All right. So. Uh, this, so if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. I'm just going to do this for my playthrough. Well, why? Because, uh, yeah, uh, it puts her out of her misery, I would say. And, uh, yeah, that's nice. 
Uh, she actually drops a Firekeeper Soul, which you can use to reinforce your Estus Flask, which, uh, when you're a newer player, of course, that is very useful to have those. And uh, you can't use this Bonfire now that the Firekeeper is dead, but don't fret. It's not that bad. Um, I guess I'll kill him. I mean, I can show you guys what it looks like when the, uh, the worms come out. There's the worms that you have to be very careful about. The spears, uh, see, they do a decent amount of damage, and that was just one of them hitting me. So, yeah, they're down. Uh, pick up an Egg Vermifuge. This can cure the Egghead status, which, uh, if you ever get Eggheaded, you'll know what I mean. I won't go into too much detail about it. Most people don't get Eggheaded, but if you get Eggheaded, uh, which is basically the condition that that guy was in, uh, you can use that item to cure your Egghead status. So, um, like I said, you don't have to do that. If you want to stay in the Covenant, you shouldn't do that. If you want to keep that bonfire, you shouldn't do that. But I would recommend resting at it at least first. Always rest at that bonfire if you're going to kill her. At least rest at it first. So you're going to want to head down this spider hole. And I'm going to show you the reason why it's not that bad, big of a reason to kill her. Because uh, there is actually another bonfire right here. Right around the corner, so it's not a big deal. I mean, there's a bonfire here. Uh, I wouldn't recommend kindling this bonfire. It is kind of pointless. You'll see why. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of leveling up here. Maybe get myself up to 40. I think. Let's see here. Um, yeah, 24 and 24, 20. I think that's good for now. I'm comfortable with my health. So. As you can see, there's many more egghead guys here. Uh, we're going to avoid them completely. And uh, over there, it leads to nothing. Right now, at least. So what you want to do is uh, slide down right here. Take a little bit of damage, but not much. And uh, run across here. As you can see, there's a white fog gate over there. So we traverse the fog gate. There's nothing here right now, as you can see. Uh, what I would recommend doing at this point is, uh, if you're fat rolling especially, is taking off some of your armor to try to get down to a uh, fast roll like that. All right. Yeah. So uh, you'll see why in a little bit. I'm gonna top off our health here. Uh, come up here, take note of this corridor right here. It's very uh, useful to know that. So come around this corner and you will see this crazy demon beast. Um, as you can see, it's most likely a boss. It's not aggroed right now. Uh, we're gonna go aggro it. Uh, I'm gonna do the post, I'm not gonna do post commentary for this guy because uh, it's pretty simple if you see what I'm about to do. So uh, make sure you have a fast movement speed and just run over here, you can see. He's uh, very sad looking, not aggroing or anything. I don't even think you could shoot him with arrows. I tried attacking him once with sorcery and pyromancy and uh, I didn't do anything. So what you're gonna wanna do is run over here and uh, grab this item here. I'll explain what this item does after because as soon as you grab it, uh, you aggro him. And as you can see right here, he's pulling his limb out of his body. Uh, if you go too close to him while he's doing that, the impact of him pulling it out will cause him to, uh, it'll hit you. So as soon as you, you see him look at you like that, you want to run past him, start running. Uh, as soon as his uh, animation stops, basically as soon as you saw me start running, you're going to want to start sprinting as fast as you can this way. Because uh, he'll do that slam attack, and oh man, he uh, doesn't usually do that. So we're going to keep running. Jesus. So yeah, just a uh, note to always run at fast movement speed and uh, you won't get flame breath like that. This is slightly an overleveled boss. Uh, you don't have to do this right now, but this is an extremely easy way to kill him at this level. So run over here, I'm gonna drink an Estus. So as you can see, he's coming. Big scary ceaseless discharge. Nasty ass name. So, as you can see, he makes this strange jump over here. And uh... What you do is just beat on his hand. You can see he's doing nothing. And uh, yeah, he just kind of 
loses his grip and falls to his death. Um, many people say, oh, you're glitching the fight. Oh, but no, that's a scripted thing he does. Like, he, he jumped over here. He didn't glitch over here. So you're kind of supposed to do it that way, I'm pretty sure. He's really hard to fight any other way. His attacks have massive phantom range, which is... That means uh, the attack can still hit you even though his arm looks like it's not hitting you because the hitbox is so huge. So as you can see, the uh, ground underneath him has cooled. So uh, we're going to throw our armor back on now. So we got another 20,000 souls from killing him. Go ahead and nest us up and uh, we're going to look at that armor we just picked up, that gold hem set. Uh, as you can see here, this is actually the set that that pyromancy trainer out in the swamp is wearing. Uh, it's a very good set, it's quite light, it, uh, it can't be upgraded. So uh, the stats that it has are the stats it'll always have, so that's why its base stats as you can see there are a lot higher than the other equipment because of course it can never be upgraded. Uh, the armor actually looks like a you look like a ring wraith from Lord of the Rings while wearing it. So if, uh, if you want to look like that, you uh, can definitely put that on. So uh, we're not going to use it, of course. Um, it is good armor. I'm not saying it's bad armor. It has super high poison resist. So if you're looking for poison resist, that's the stuff you want to go to. So uh, we're actually, yeah, I think I'm going to call it here. So uh, quite short episode today. But uh, I will meet you guys back at the bonfire next time.